Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2023 on VMware Workstation. The process is same on VMware Workstation as well as VMware Workstation Player. Go to Kali Linux official website that is kali.org. Click on download. See here we have two options installer images and virtual machines installer images means iso files virtual machines means it's already installed virtual machines click on installer images we have torrent application installed click on torrent otherwise click on this download arrow see download has been started its size is 3.6 gigabytes. I am cancelling this download because I have already downloaded the ISO file. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then download the VMware Station Player and install it. If you are not sure how to download and install VMware Station Player, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Once download is completed, then open VMware Workstation Player. See, click on this VMA Workstation Player. Maximize this one. See, at present I have one virtual machine that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Click on Home, then click on Create New Virtual Machine. Here, select the ISO file which we have downloaded. Click on Browse, then select the Kali Linux 2023 ISO file. Then click on next. Select the Linux version is Ubuntu because we don't have the Kali Linux in the list. Okay. Select Ubuntu 64 bit and click on next. Here provide the name as provide name as Kali 2023. Then provide the location to store the virtual machine. I am going to store this one in C drive, select C drive, then new folder, VMs, hit enter, then create another directory, the name same as Kali2023, then click on OK. Click on next, here we have to provide the disk size, that is hard disk size, here I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. See, this is the summary of our virtual machine. If you want to change any one of them, you can click on customize hardware. See here, by default, memory size, it has selected 4 gigabytes. If you want to change, click on customize hardware and change here. Okay. Like you can change the processors or if you want to change the ISO just click on this new CD or DVD then browse like this we can change click on close then click on finish see new virtual machine has been added but actual installation not yet started just we have created a virtual machine but we want to install now click on this power on button or click on this play virtual machine or right click and click on power on all three are the same use up and down arrows and select the type of installation select graphical install and hit enter Select language for the installation process that is the English and click on continue. Select your location. I am going to select location as United States. Then click on continue. Keyboard. I am going with American English. Then click on continue.
C. We have to provide host name. Change as Kali 2023. This can be changed later also. Click on continue. Then pro if you have an existing domain, then provide the domain name. Otherwise, click on. Otherwise, keep as it is blank and click on continue. Now, we have to create a user. Provide the name for new user. I am giving full name as R2 schools and username. I am giving username also R2 schools. Then click on continue. Provide the password for this new user. Then click on continue. Select the clock. I am going with Western and click on continue. Select the default option and click on continue. Click on S to write the changes to disks. Then click on continue. Desktop environments. I am not going to select or any unselect anything. If you want to GNOM or KDE Plasma, select both of them by clicking on the checkboxes and click on continue. To install the grub bootloader, keep S and click on continue. See, installation is completed and it is asking make sure to remove the installation media. Click on continue. Provide the user that we have created at the time of installation. Provide the password. If you want to maximize, just double click on this one and maximize. Now open terminal. Then check the host name. See, host name is already there, but verify. See hostname is Kali Linux. Now verify the version whether it is Kali 2023 or not. See we have installed Kali Linux and its version is 2023. Press Q to quit Ctrl L to clear the screen. Click on here now now verify the list of the applications comes with by clicking here. 
Kali icon. See, these are the applications comes with Kali Linux. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2023 on VMA Workstation Play. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.